हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ इज परमिंदर सिंह फ्रॉम प्रभ कृपा क्लासेस अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज प्रोबेबिलिटी फ्रॉम थ्योरी टू प्रैक्टिस इफ वी सी क्लाउड्स इन द स्काई वी से दैट प्रोबेबली इट विल रेन टुडे इफ ए स्टूडेंट इज नोट in uh, not getting good marks in the examination we may say that probably he will not pass in the examination in these days of inflation the prices of everything is rising we may say that the chances of prices of petrol are that they will rise in the near future there are chances that the petrol prices will, will rise in the near future and in the same way you may say i doubt that he will pass in the examination there may be some cricket match between the two countries and you are watching the live telecast of the match and you may say that there is 50 50 chance of a particular country winning the match here all the words such like probably i doubt doubt where you raise doubt or there are chances you word the chances or raise any doubt of doubt or probably or something like these words here all these words are having an element of element of uncertainty you are not sure that something will certainly occur suppose in the case of as already discussed in the case of clouds in the sky it is quite possible that for the last few days there has been raining in your area and that is why you say that it may rain today that is on the basis of the experience or on the basis of the performance of the students in the past examinations you may say that he may not pass in the examination or he may stood first in the class so all these sentences which we have so far understood contain an element element of uncertainty in many cases we can measure this uncertainty numerically with the help of probability in mathematics now after going through this course the students will learn <coughs> sorry probability is a fundamental concept in mathematics and statistics it quantifies it means probability quantifies the likelihood of an event occurring the it represents a numerical value between 0 and 1 if the probability is 0 it means that the event is impossible to happen if the probability is 1 it means that the event is sure to happen certainly the event will happen but if the value of probability is between 0 and 1 it shows the varying degrees of likelihood whether it is predicting weather conditions assessing the chances of winning a game or making informed financial investments probability is an essential tool that helps us in making rational decisions in situations where outcomes are uncertain or unpredictable its applications are diverse and far reaching making it an indispensable concept in modern day problem solving and decision making for example if we want to establish a factory in an area we will go take into also consideration the concept of probability whether we will be able to get enough electricity 
supply whether there are chances that we will get enough labor to run our or work in the factories all this is based on the concept of probability no doubt it undoubtedly we will have to take into consideration many other facts the cost so involved expenditure to be incurred on the factory that is many facts have been considered but here we also take into the consideration the concept of probability now we will start solving the questions on probability the first question before us is in a cricket match a batswoman hits a boundary six times out of 30 balls she plays find the probability that she did not hit a boundary so in this question it is given that a batswoman is playing cricket and she has played 30 balls out of the 30 balls she played she hit the boundary six times so the total number of balls played is equal to 30. Now it is also given in this question that she hit boundary six times. So we will write number of times she hit boundary it is given six so we have to find the probability that she did not hit a boundary so here we will write so number of times she did not hit boundary it is 30 minus 6 because 30 are the total number of balls she played and out of the 30 she has hit the boundary in six times so the number of times she did not hit boundary is 30 minus 6 is equal to 24 that is when she played 24 balls she did not hit boundary so probability she did not hit a boundary is equal to it is equal to number of times she did not hit the boundary divided by total number of balls played she did not hit boundary divided by total number of balls played is equal to 24 this is 24 and the total number of balls are 30 so here each of this item will be divided by 6 and the answer will come 4 over 5 this is the answer now the next question before us is 3 coins are tossed simultaneously 200 times with the following frequencies of different outcomes these are the outcomes 
when the coins are being tossed. Three heads have occurred on 23 times, two heads occurred on 72 times and only one head occurred on 77 occasions and there was no head on 28 occasions. If the three coins are simultaneously tossed again, compute the probability of two heads coming up. So, what is the total number of times the coins have been tossed? We will write total number of times the coins tossed is 200. So, we are to find out the probability of two heads coming up. So, we find from the question that on 72 occasions there have been two heads. So, number of times two heads coming up. 72 that is out of 200 times the coins were tossed we found that on 72 times there were two heads. So, now we have to find the probability. So, the probability of two heads coming up is equal to number of times two heads come up that is the number of times the two heads were found it is to be divided by the total number of tosses or total number of times the coins were tossed number of times the heads two heads were come up these are 72 these are to be divided by 200 If we divide it by 2, it comes 36 over 100. If we again divide it by 2, it comes 18 over 50. If we again divide it by 2, it comes 9 by 25. Now, this is the answer 9 over 25. This is the probability of two heads coming up when the three coins are tossed simultaneously. Now the question before us is one thousand five hundred families with two children were selected randomly and the following data were recorded. This is the data before you. Compute the probability of a family chosen at random having two girls. So now what is the question? It is the question that a survey was done on 1500 families. In this survey it was to be found how many children a family is having only that family was to be taken into consideration which was having children up to two that is the family may be having no child one child or up to two child not more than that 
so now this is the data before you that in the case of 475 families it was found that they were having two girls in the family in the case of 814 families it was found that they were having only one girl in the family and in the case of 211 families it was found that they were not having any girl child in their family now the first question before us is compute the probability of a family chosen at random having two girls so what is the total number of families total number of families are given 1500 so now what we have to find out we have to find out number of probability of family having two girls in this question it is given that number of families having two girls is equal to 475 so we will write number of families having two girls is equal to 475 so now we have to find out the probability a family having two girls is equal to 1000 number of families having two girls divided by total number of families so what is the number of families having two girls it is 475 now what is the total number of families this is 1500 so now we will divide it by 5 what we will get Ninety five over three hundred. We will again divide it by five. We will get nineteen over sixty. So, this is the probability. This is the answer of three point one. Now, the next. Now, the second question is here we have to find the probability of a family having one girl. So, again. total number of families it is 1500 now the number of families having now the question is for one girl number of families having one girl is 8 814 so probability of a family having one girl is equal to 1000 number of families having one girl divided by total number of families so number of families having one girl are given here 
814 total families are given here 1500 now we will divide it by 2 407 divided by 750. This is the probability of a family having one girl. Now, the next, now this is the third part of this question. And in this question, we are to find the probability of a family having no girl. The same thing we will we'll write again total number of families. 1500 number of families having zero or we can write no girl it is 211 so we have to find the probability of a family having no girl is equal to number of families having no girl oblique total number of families here number of families having no girl is equal to 211 it will be divided by total number of families which is 1500 so this is the answer of third part now again next part now we have calculated so far the probability of a family having two girls one girl and no girl so now we have to find whether the sum of these probabilities is one so we will sum up the probabilities which we have calculated so far sum of probabilities what we had found out in the first case it was 19 over 60 19 over 60 what we have find out in the second case it is 407 over 750 407 over 750 now what we have calculated on the third time it is 211 divided by 1500 so the sum of probabilities is we will calculate when 1500 is divided by 60 it comes 25 when 1500 is divided by 750 it becomes 2 Here it will be 1, 1500 divided by 1500. So when we multiply 19 with 25, it comes 475 plus 814 when we multiply it plus 211 divided by when we sum up the same we will find nine ten five thirteen five hundred one thousand five hundred divided by one thousand five hundred so the sum of probabilities is one 
we are given we were to find out the sum of probabilities is one yes the answer is the sum of probabilities is one so we have been able to find out the probability of a family having two girls one girl no girl and also whether the sum of probabilities is one yes the sum of probabilities of it has been found as one now the question before us is in a particular section of class 9 40 students were asked about the months of their birth and the following graph was prepared for the data so obtained find the probability of a student of the class was born in august so here it is given that 40 students are studying in a class and the teacher has asked them about their date of month in which they were born so accordingly a graph has been prepared which is before you you will find from the graph that some children or some students were born in jan some in feb some in march and we are to calculate the probability that a student of the class was born in august so from this graph you can find that the number of students whose date of birth falls in august are six because you can find that this is six this is corresponds to the graph so the total number of students are 40 so the number of students born in august are we have find out from the graph that the number is 6 now what we have to calculate we have to calculate probability of a student having born in August it will be equal to number of students born in this particular month divided by total number of students so what is the number of students who whose date of birth falls in the month of august this is 6 what is the total number of students which are studying in class 9 it is 40 so we can divide both these figures by 2 and the answer will be 3 over 20 this is the probability that a student of class was born in august now the next question before us is 11 bags of wheat flour each marked 5 kg actually contained the following weights of flour. These are the figures before you. Find the probability that any of these bags chosen at random contains more than 5 kg of flour. Now, what is the question? This is the question that there are 11 bags of wheat flour it is specified or marked on the bags that 
ईच बैग वुड कंटेन दी वीट फ्लोर इज इक्वल टू फाइव के जी बट वेन दे हैव बिन वेट इट हैज बिन फाउंड दैट इट मे कॉन्टेन वीट फ्लोर इक्वल टू फाइव के जी लेस देन फाइव के जी और मोर देन फाइव के जी हेयर इट विल बी फाइंड दैट इट इज कॉन्टेनिंग लेस देन फाइव इट इज मोर देन फाइव के जी हेयर इट इज इक्वल टू फाइव के जी इट इज लेस देन फाइव के जी सो नाउ वी आर वट वी आर टू फाइंड वी आर टू फाइंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट एनी ऑफ दीज बैग्स चोजन एट रेंडम कॉन्टेन्स मोर देन फाइव के जी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल राइट टोटल नंबर ऑफ बैग्स Though it is given eleven bags, you can find out from here. Here the prob weights have been given. We can also count from the same whether the weights of all the eleven have been given. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The weights of all the eleven bags have been given. So the total number of bags are eleven. So now we have to calculate the probability of bags which have more than five kg. So, how many bags have more than five kg? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We will not calculate which are equal to five. We have calculated one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, we have calculated that number of bags. Containing floor more than five kg. This is seven. So now we have to find the probability. Probability of bag. containing more than 5 kg of floor is equal to number of bags containing floor more than 5 kg we will divide it by total number of bags so what is the number of bags which were having more than 5 kg we had counted it these were seven we will divide it it by total number of bags so here it is the answer probability of a bag containing more than 5 kg is equal to Seven divided by eleven. Now the question before us is: An organization selected two thousand four hundred families at random and surveyed them to determine a relationship between income level and the number of vehicles in a family. The information gathered is listed in the table below. suppose a family is chosen find the probability that the family chosen is earning 10000 to 13000 per month and owning exactly two vehicles so now what is given to us that they have selected 2400 families for a survey in this survey their income level has been taken into consideration and also the number of vehicles they are having in the family they may be having no vehicle one vehicle two vehicle more than that and the income has also been grouped into various rows that is less than 7000 7000 to 10000 10000 to 13000 and so on now in this question we have been asked 
to find out the probability that the family chosen is earning 10,000 to 13,000 per month and owning exactly two vehicles. That is the two conditions have been put forth in this question. That is one is family income, monthly income and the other is two vehicles. So, what is, we will find the number of families which are earning 10,000 to 13,000 and also having two vehicles. This is the two vehicles. So, here it is the 29. 29 families which are having income between 10,000 to 13,000 are having two vehicles and the number of families are 29. So, here we will write total number of families. What is this? These are 2400. Now, what we are to calculate? We are to calculate the probability of family earning this much income and having exactly two vehicles. Exactly means two vehicles. So, we will write number of families having income ten thousand to thirteen thousand per month and owning exactly two vehicles. These are 29. So, now we have to find the probability. Probability of a family earning 10,000 to 13,000 and owning two vehicles. We have to find this. So, now here we will write the number of families having income 10,000 to 13,000 and having two vehicles divided by 2 total number of families. So, what is the number of families having the income of this much range and having only 2 vehicles? We had find out that these were 29 and what is the total number of families which were surveyed it is given that it is 29 divided by 2400 this is the answer of the first part this is the probability of family earning 10,000 to 13,000 and owning two vehicles this is the answer of the first part now we come to the second part Now, here this is the same question above. Now, suppose a family is chosen, find the probability that the family chosen is owning not more than one vehicle. Here, we have to find this one vehicle up to not more than. So, all the families which may be having no vehicle or one vehicle will have to be taken into consideration, not more than. 
so here again total number of families these are 2400 so the number of families owning not more than one vehicle is equal to so here all the families which are here up to one having all the families which are having no vehicle or up to one vehicle that is one vehicle are to be taken into consideration we will here calculate the total zero plus here it will be counted from here because this is the number of vehicles zero ni not zero we will count from 10 here it will be 10 then 160 zero because here the criteria of income is not given in the first question the criteria of 10000 to 13000 plus vehicles was given but here only the criteria of vehicles has been given no families owning not more than one vehicle so we will count all these entries 10 plus 160 plus 0 plus 305 plus 1 plus 535 plus 2 plus 469 plus 1 plus 579 so we will do this exercise of totaling 10 160 3051 4, 6, 7, 13, 13, 6, 19, 26, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3 6, 6, 4, 11, 11, 4, 15, 15, 5, 20, 2060, these is the number of families owning not more than one vehicle. Now we are to find the probability. Probability of family family or not owning owning not more than owning not more than one vehicle is equal to number of families owning not more than one vehicle divided by total number of families so here 2062 divided by 2400 we will divide by 2 both it will come 1031 divided by 1200 this is the answer now we come to the next question now it is the activity before you note the frequency of two wheelers three wheelers and four wheelers going past during a time interval in front of your school gate find the probability that any vehicle out of the total vehicles you have observed is a two wheeler so now what is the question 
the question is that you are studying in a school and before your school gate a large number of vehicles are crossing these vehicles may be two wheeler three wheeler or four wheeler and you have to find the probability of any on one vehicle out of the total vehicles observed is a two wheeler that is you have to find the probability that the particular vehicle which will be passing through in front of your school gate will be two wheeler the probability of finding a two wheeler out of the total vehicles so now here no figures have been given so we will have to assume the figures so let us assume the figures type of vehicle type of vehicle is first is two wheeler next is three wheeler and the next is four wheel so when they are passing you have to count the number of times or here we will write it as frequency so here we suppose that the number of times during a time interval 300 three two wheelers have passed in front of your school gate and the number of times three wheelers have passed it is only 50 and the number of times four wheelers have passed during a particular time interval are 150 so if we total all these vehicles total number of vehicles total number of vehicles are 300 plus 50 plus 150 and it will become as 500 that is the total number of vehicles which pass in front of your school gate are 500 which pass a particular time interval so we have to find the number of times two wheeler pass so the number of two wheelers absorbed or going past you can write anything number of two wheelers passing in front of your school gate is equal to here it is given 300 so we have to find the probability of observing a two wheeler is equal to number of two wheelers observed or number of two wheelers passed divided by total number of vehicles which passed in front of your school gate or total number of vehicles which were observed by you so here the total number of two wheelers are which have been observed are 300 and the total number of vehicles which passed in front of your school gate and you were had observed the same are 500 so here we will cut these two and the answer will come 3 divided by 5 now the question before us is a teacher wanted to analyze the performance of two sections of the students in a mathematics test of 100 marks 
looking at their performances she found that a few students got under 20 marks and a few got 70 marks or above so he decided to group them into intervals of varying sizes as follows so here it is the table then she formed the following table find the probability that a student obtained less than 20 percent marks in mathematics test what is given in this question the question is very seems to be big and complicated no it is not so it is very easy let us understand the question first there are two sections in a school and a teacher has taken a test of mathematics the total number of students in both the sections are 90 after taking the test the teacher has grouped the students on the basis of marks obtained that is up to 20 marks the number of students are 7 and 10 students have obtained in between 20 to 30 and so on and only 8 students have obtained 70 and above marks so here we are to find the probability that a student obtains less than 20 percent marks in mathematics test that is the question pertains to this point less than 20 marks so how now what is the total number of students total number of students are this is not given in the question this is give, given here in the table here total number of students 90 what we are to find students with less than 20 percent marks so the number of students obtaining less than 20 percent marks here it is given as 7 so now we have to find the probability probability that a student obtained less than 20 percent marks is equal to number of students obtaining less than 20 percent marks divided by total number of students as here it is given that the students obtained less than 20 percent marks here these are given marks though it is not given how many marks were the total for which the questions were put it is assumed that the number of total number of marks in the mathematics test were 100 and out of that because here it is the written that 70 and above it is presumed that 70 and above means 70 up to 100 so the number of students obtaining less than 20 percent marks are 7 divided by 90 so this is the first part so now we come to the second part 
Now here we have to find the probability that a student obtained marks 60 or above. We go to the table. The total number of students remain the same. We write it. Total number of students. These are 90. So now the number of students obtaining marks 60 or above. This is written in the question. 60 or above. So, what are, uh, what is the number of students who have obtained more than 60 or above? Here it is 60 and more than 60 means up to the given. Here we will take all these, whether they fall in the category of 60 to 70 or 70 and above, because here it is not written that the students who get 60 to 70. It, here it is written in the question that all the students who have obtained more than 60. So, all the students which have obtained 60 to 70 or 70 and above will have to be taken into consideration. So, here the number of students will be 15 plus 8. It will come as 23. So, now we will find the probability probability that a student obtained marks 60 or above is equal to number of students Obtaining marks 60 or above divided by total number of students. So, here number of students obtaining 60 or above are 23 and it will be divided by total number of students which is 90 and this is the answer. Now the question before us is activity. It is an activity that is we will have to do it ourselves. Ask all the students in your class to write a three digit number. Choose any student from the room at random. What is the probability that the number written by him or her is divisible by three? Remember that a number is divisible by three if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. Here it is not written what is the number of students and what are the digits which will be written by the students. So, we will have to assume this is an activity. So, we will have to assume some values. So, first of all we assume let the number of students in the class. We will keep it on the lower side because we will have the question will become very lengthy if we take it say 40 or 50. We will keep this number on the conservative side. We assume that the number of students in the class are 12. When you will solve the question you will understand why we have kept it on the lower side. 
so all the students have been asked in the class to write a three digit number that is the a number may range from 100 to 999 so let us write some number let the numbers written by the students are we will assume these numbers you can we can write anything suppose we write 267 13267 then we write 132 then we write 257 we write 534 we take another 473 614 one two three four five six we have written so far six six more seven two one eight nine one some more this is one two three four five six seven eight four more are to be written we write one seven five then we again write three Two nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. We write nine hundred two three. Then we write say The twelfth is say six two six. So the numbers we have supposed are these, which we have assumed randomly. So we are to find the probability that if we ask any one student to write three digit number and that number will be divisible by three. So, now the number of students are 12, the number of which have been written by have been given are. So, now we also, it has been given in the question that the number, it is given, number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3 it is given given what it means that if we do the total of these three and it gets divided by 3 we need not to divide 267 by 3. We sum total the same. 268, 8 plus 7, 15. 15 is divided by 3? Yes. So we write that this is divisible by 3. Number divisible by 3 is equal to 267. 132. If we total the same 1, 3, 4, 4, 2, 6, it is also divide, divisible by 3. 2, 5, 7, 2, 5, 7, 7 plus 7, 14. 14 is not divisible by 3. It, so we remove it. 5, 3, 4, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 4, 12. It is divided by 3. Divisible by 3. Okay, we write it. 473 47 11 11 plus 3 14 it is not divisible so we cut it 614 617 7 plus 4 11 it is not divisible then we remove it 729 9 plus 1 10 10 is not divisible we remove it 891 89 
सेवनटीन सेवनटीन प्लस वन एटीन एटीन इज डिविजिबल तो वी राइट हिट हेयर तो वन सेवन फाइव वन सेवन एट एट फाइव एट प्लस फाइव थर्टीन इट इज नॉट डिविजिबल वी रिमूव इट थ्री टू नाइन थ्री प्लस टू फाइव फाइव प्लस नाइन फोर्टीन इट इज नॉट डिविजिबल बाई थ्री नाइन टू थ्री नाइन प्लस टू इलेवन इलेवन प्लस थ्री फोर्टीन इट इज ऑल्सो गेन नॉट सिक्स टू सिक्स सिक्स प्लस टू एट एट प्लस सिक्स इट इज अगेन फोर्टीन इट इज ऑल्सो नॉट डिविजिबल सो द नंबर विच आर डिविजिबल बाई थ्री आर दिस दैट इज दीज आर फोर नंबर विच हैव बीन फाउंड टू बी डिविजिबल बाय फोर सो नाउ प्रोबेबिलिटी वी हैव टू फाइंड प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट द नंबर इज डिविजिबल बाय थ्री इज इक्वल टू number of numbers divisible by 3 number of numbers means how many times this is the one this is two this is three this is four four times they, that these are the four numbers which are divisible by 3 so what is the total number total numbers or total number of students which were asked to write these were 14 number of numbers means we are not to write these numbers we have to count how many times we have found the numbers which are divisible by 3 we have found that four numbers are divisible by 3 so it is four total numbers are 14 that is 14 uh, 12 students were asked to write the numbers so the numbers written by are also 12 so 4 over 12 it is 1 over 3 and this is the answer before you that is in all you had simply assumed the number of students then you had assumed the 12 numbers which were written by these 12 students and then you found out from these 12 numbers what are those numbers which are divisible by which uh, which when totaled uh, each individual item has to be totaled and if it is divisible by 3 we have to take into consideration that item and that item plus other items which are divisible by 3 have to be counted and the same have to be divided by the total number of students or total number of Three numbers which were written. So we have been able to solve this activity. We hope you might have understood the same. Thanks for watching. If you like our course, please spare some time to give a star rating to our course.